Good morning, happy December 1st. This is the start of my favorite documenting season, December Daily. This is the project that got me started in scrapbooking and really the project that I look forward to um, coming back to year in after year. So I started this in 2013 um, and that was kind of the start of my documenting journey, documenting our family. My kids were really little. Um, and for a lot of reasons, this brought joy to me. And it was a rough season of life. I had uh, my brother passed away in 2012. My dad had a stroke shortly after that. And it was just a hard <laughs> beginning of 2013. And this project really helped me celebrate the good that was in 2013. And brings me back to the joy of family and Jesus's birth and why we celebrate Christmas every year. So I'm gonna share with you some of my favorite pages in all the different albums and we'll flip through them together. I'll let you know. So I've tried every format. You'll see that in here, maybe not every format, but lots of formats. Some I loved, some I didn't. So we'll get started. This is a smash book. This was in 2013. I didn't um, share it on social media, I don't think. And it was just, fun, which I want to get back to. I just did it for fun. I did it for us. I did it to document our days. Um, I wanted to document our traditions. So we started this little sock advent calendar, which the kids still love. They were little socks from the Dollar Tree and I put little candies in them. And this year I remember they woke up earlier and earlier every morning to check those socks for the little, um, there's just like Hershey Kiss or something in there. Um, at the time, my youngest, who's eight now, was a baby and had a little fun with the tree. Shortly after this picture, he climbed under there and started, like a cat, pawing at the lights and the ornaments. Um, and this, I just saved like the tags, because I love people's handwriting. I love saving that um, and just seeing the little cards and tags that people put on there. Um, I saved some artwork from my older son, he was in preschool at the time, and just smashed on pictures, and this was a great starting project. So that was 2013, and then 2014 was my first year using a ring album, and this thing is stuffed. Can you see that? Those rings are exploding. So this is a, I think this is a six by eight. Yeah, pretty close. So this is um, a Snap Ring album. And I think this is Simple Stories and some Allie Edwards. This um, was from April Orr. She had documented uh, her reason why, like that, and I loved that. So I borrowed that idea. And this... This went in order of the days, so you could see the fourth and the fifth, and again, some artwork and fun stuff. And this one was fun, because I did a little bit, I don't know what app I did this in, but it was just, I did a little bit of digital, so I guess you would call this hybrid, I didn't know that um, at the time. I just did sort of smash some stuff down on one page and then did pictures on the other. I think every year in December we go to the dentist, so there's always a dentist picture in there. And this was this was a fun one to document. I The binder got really full towards the end, and so I was kind of smushing stuff in there. Um, but again, I love the handwritten notes, and just kind of documenting different things that we did throughout Christmas. So see, there's those tags again, I love those. Um, so that was, and I usually include our Christmas cards somewhere in there. So we have a document of that. So that was 2014. In 2015, I got a little adventurous and tried a traveler's notebook. So this doesn't have a lot of pictures in it because I did a digital version as well and then never printed it. So I have those pictures somewhere that hopefully eventually I'll print. Um, but I did put a few little things in there. There was one that my son was really into drawing. And so we did, um, if you've ever heard of Art for Kids Hub on YouTube, they do these great directed draws. And so I was drawing with him and on paper, and so I thought, well, I'll just draw it in here for fun. So this I could not have done on my own. But the way they describe stuff is, um, makes it fantastic. I'm going to try to use these again this year. These are kind of the flip-ups, and I'll show you more of those. So this one got really full, and this is more... Um, 
there's another drawing in there. This was more documenting stories um, and having some drawings. Um, and then the pictures were in the digital version. There's a few little pictures in here, but not much. So this was fun. Um, these bound ones sort of stress me out now because I'm afraid if I mess up a page, which who cares, right? I could cover it up, but then I wanna, my inclination is to rip it out and start over and then it makes the book kind of fall apart. So I haven't done a traveler's notebook since. This is the first time I used Allie's um, ring binder. So this was 2016. I love this one. I love red at Christmas time. Uh, red's one of my favorite colors anyways. Um, but I like the traditional red and green colors of Christmas. So this one I did that little tree, reason why. I like kind of documenting what the boys are into. This was just a fun little page. Let me see one of my favorite pages from here. So this had all like the different size page protectors, but this sort of went in order of the days. There's some art again. Hopefully my oldest will draw, who knows? He's not really into it as much. Um, gosh, look at it. The prices of Christmas trees have gone up like crazy. This In 2016, it was $54. I think people are spending like $100 now. These little, these are the two by two page protectors that I did. Used it with some glitter in there and little dots and different things. I like these full size pictures. I try to do a full size picture of each of the kids to have in the album. Just kind of talk about what they're into and that sort of thing. And this one is funny. So I work as a nurse in uh, pediatrics and someone had decorated a bedpan and made it a reindeer. Let's see if I have another picture in here. No, it just kind of says about, talks about work. So that was really funny. It's kind of a fun way to document work without sharing any kind of patient information. Um, so that was 2016. And I believe this is 2017. Let's take a look. This is one of Allie's ring binders also. And this was like a, I forget who had this idea, but this was like a stitched heart on this side. Yep, 2017, we've got the dog, we got the Christmas tree, there's reason why, typed out, speaking of the dog, here he comes, so you might hear cat and dog noises. There's the kids in their little documenting, documenting the advent calendar. This is one of my favorite pages. This one was just for fun. This is, I mean, I didn't really have to have a picture, but this was just fun with the pattern paper and the different little chipboards that Allie had that year. And this was a half page. Just thankful for the season. That was what I did for the ninth. Let me see what else we got in here that's fun. This, so we do a cookie party every year and I've given up on making uh, cookies by hand, but this year I did. And so I took stuff from like the flour and the sugar and all that stuff and put it on here. It was kind of fun documenting that, different little labels. And then this for their advent calendar, they have the Lego advent calendar and I took pictures of each one and put it in this page protector, the two by two. So that's an idea to do for those page protectors if you're so inclined. Um, this was Lego and this was Playmobil. So that was 2013. And then in 2018, I did a digital book and I sort of missed the crafting aspect of it, but I know this year was really busy. And so this was great. This was printed um, by Project Life through their app. I love that app. It makes documenting so easy. I don't necessarily make everything in the app. Um, I do some of the, like these, if these are cards, I think these were from um, Allie's collection. I documented them in letter glow and then um, went back in and added them in the Project Life app. So this one goes in order for the days of the week and sometimes big pictures. I love this one. So each kid gets their a day where I document about them, which I like with big pictures. Um, there's that sugar cookie recipe. 
Eventually I go to pre-made ones because it's easier. <laughs> and then just documenting fun stuff that we did. So this one goes in order. Um, and there's no little bits and pieces. Like I don't have the tags from presents, but that's okay. This one um, was what I needed at the time for this holiday season. It was a busy one for whatever reason. And I like to finish this project on December 25th or by the end of the year because by then I'm, I'm done looking at it, I'm done with Christmas memories, and I'm moving on to new stuff. So this is nice because you can finish it on time, which I'm doing air quotes for on time because there's no rules to this. It's just whatever you make it. 2019 I did in um, the discs for the Happy Planner. This one you'll see it does not turn well. And I'm using the metal discs, which usually turn better. I'm wondering if these are just too big. So that's a side note on this project. This is fun. This is like a make your own cover that um, the Happy Planner uses. So I did some pattern paper and just slipped it in there. And then um, they have their memory keeping pocket pages. So it was nice to have a blend of pocket pages and planner pages. So this, I could just pop in. See how it doesn't turn? Uh, anyways. See, I kind of always come back to that smash book style. Like this is when we went to cut down our own tree. So this was the forest permit and then just a copy of the map and a little thing that um, Dylan had written. And so for this year, I printed paper. Oh yeah, there's a picture under there. So I printed my stories each day on paper, cut it down to fit in the happy planner. Um, and that was just, it was simple and I like it. Really basic, just white paper, the day of the week, a little embellishment, it was really basic, which was fine. Let's see if I can find that cookie party again. This, I love this one. Usually I don't go with blues, um, but this was fun. With the pretty coffee and then the cabin in the woods. And there we go, cookie party every year. The kids love this, they're so funny. So the Happy Planner had a Christmas planner and so I just used some of their pages. in and out burger says Merry Christmas and so I put the in and out wrapper on there with one of their stickers. And that was that year. So just some fun stuff. I included in this one some Christmas cards of our family, which I really like doing. And then this year I had also done um, like traditional planning, sorry about that. So I included that in the back too. So you can see like planner spreads, which were really simple too. But those are kind of fun to have and it has different colors than what my layouts, my layouts typically, so I'm gonna fill that one out. Um, anywho. My layouts typically stick with red and green Christmassy colors, I guess. And this is 2020. So this is an alley um, binder as well with some Coco Daisy aspects in there. Um, just kind of an intro card. And most of this stuff is in the pockets. I'm gonna do a quick little. But some stuff is out, <laughs> like the dog. Oh, he makes an appearance in all the albums. He's so funny. So these are outside the page protectors, the uh, bigger size photo. And then there's a flip up with some documenting and big pictures, pictures in the page protector. So branched out of my normal color scheme there. There's like a, a blue and a pink. Let's find that cookie party gonna be in here somewhere. Andrea uh, Gray I think does a picture like this every year where she shows the wrapping paper and I love her spreads so I think this is uh, inspiration from her and those. Just doing different size so the pizza or I think this was garlic bread but just cut it out in half circle to document that. And I think I think most of it's dead. We'll call, I, there's some days where stuff's not documented. I'm calling it good enough. This is when my son got his kitten. Look how tiny she is. I'm surprised she hasn't jumped up here yet. And my son got his bearded dragon, which he was tiny too. 
and that and then it shows our Christmas card and then they've gone away from artwork but there's just a little bit in there that I wanted to include so that is all of them so that is my December daily history this year I'm gonna do a digital book so it's gonna be something similar to this I think I have a ring album that I can use um, if I want to do pages outside of the digital um, so I haven't completely decided, but I do love the digital because I'm working full-time now. Life is busy, busy with sports and life. And this I can create laying in bed and post really easy and not have to worry about lighting, which there is none in winter hours. Um, and it's just less stress and allows me to focus on the memories, making them, documenting them, and getting them done. Because that's <laughs> getting those page layouts done because that's what I like. So thank you for